Hey, what's up guys? Knife Fanatic here, and today we got a new knife to unbox from Vosteed. And this is the Raccoon, but it's not a button lock, it's a crossbar lock. So, yeah, I'm super excited to open it with you guys. Um, I don't have the button lock version of the Raccoon, so I won't be able to compare it to that, but I will have some other knives um, to compare it with. And today we're going to be using the Vosteed Thunderbird to unbox it. Um, super cool knife i plan on doing a review on this at some point but really really nice top of g10 scales s35 vn blade wire clip with a uh, nice brass backspacer here um but yeah multiple deployments super fidgety backspacer uh, or sorry back flipper front flipper and reverse and you know thumb deployment with all that good stuff so really cool knife so uh, let's go ahead and open her up so as always, really nice uh, tin can. I really like this presentation. It's, it's really nice. We got our pouch. Put that to the side. All our good stuff and patches, stickers, and whatnot wanted. Sticker. Little patch here. What's this? Little business card or... Um, that good information so yeah we got 14 c 28 in blade steel 3.25 inch length blade length uh, drop point flat grind black coated stone wash blade black micarta crossbar lock with the cloth let's put that all to the side all right guys so here we go oh and it looks like the um the pouch is different too the zipper is uh on the outside so yeah it's nice i like that a lot more actually here we go guys look at this oh yeah oh, she's a bit oily huh nothing wrong with that keeps the the knife well lubricated so yeah this uh wow this these mark my card scales are really black huh um thought they might have been a little bit lighter than that but no oh, they're they're pretty dark first deployment oh yeah wow that's a really lubed up blade there huh Oh wow, those, um, so, those springs at first, uh, were pretty, pretty tough to pull back, but I believe, um, we can adjust those, so I'm actually going to open it up and adjust those springs here, because they're a little bit too... Too hard in my opinion but the action is really nice feels really really good um, oh, this feels really good in the hands too chuck up back here or up here yeah that's it feels really good I wish they they you know brought this jimping up a little bit higher on on the blade you know that would have been nice because I feel like if I'm you know in this position here my thumb is gonna be like right in this area so that would have been nice but other than that this feels really good in the hands um let's see so we can thumb flick it can we reverse flick it yep yeah it feels really nice i think this will break in really well over time if 
I just keep playing with it. So let's see what we got here. T8 pivot screw, yep. With, uh, I'm assuming T6 for the, um, Yep, T6 for the pocket clip screws and the one body screw down here. There's a nice backspacer here too. So yeah, um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and kind of compare it to some other knives real quick before we open her up. There's the uh, Kaiser Drop Bear. They're, they're pretty sim similar. We got the, let's see here, O Knife Rubato 2. And we got the Benchmade Bug Out here. So, yeah, they, they're all fairly similar in size um i think the bug out might have you know a little bit slimmer handle but overall lengths of the <clears throat> the handles and the the blade are fairly similar so yeah let's get these knives out of the way So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing. Um, stay tuned. I'm going to show you all how to switch over the Omega Springs to the lighter option. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and see you in the next one.